going to make a seafood fish um, stew with organic gluten-free macaroni, elbow macaroni. And I'm using uh, black cod because it's uh, a solid fish. It won't fall apart. Um, a few shrimps, a few sea scallops, a few mussels, one squid, and uh, I have in the back fish stock. Now, if you don't have fish stock or seafood stock, how do you go about getting it? Well, speak to the fish man. I'm putting the bay leaves and the thyme in the fish stock, so I don't have to deal with that later. We'll just let that simmer. The uh, So that's important to have a fish stock. Get the bones from your uh, fish man, your local fish man, and uh, go see my recipe for fish stock. Or if you have a boil up shrimps in the house, don't throw out the water unless you happen to be making, you know, using like a crab boil, which is very spicy, then you can't reuse that stock. But if you're making, if you're steaming up uh, clams or you're steaming up uh, crabs, uh, there's always liquid there. Just save it in a container, put it in the freezer. Add to it whatever you're, when you have that item left over when you're in your cooking and before you know it you might have a quart of fish stock or seafood stock. Uh, clam juice is okay but I really don't like to use it. I would rather go with just plain water if you don't have fish stock or good seafood stock because this will impart flavor right here uh, but not as good as fish stock. So that fish stock has the bay leaf and the thyme in it. And then I'm going I'm to peel the shrimps and you don't throw out the shells. So if you're going to peel shrimps, a lot of shrimps one day, and you're going to use the shrimp for something and you don't need sauce, what do you do with the shell? You throw it out? No. You boil the shells and you have yourself a stock. So this is everything. Uh, chilies, whole chilies from... Uh, I use this company because everything they have that's dry is beautiful, it's fresh, much better than, than in the uh, supermarkets. So I'm going to put one chili in there because that stuff is hot after it cooks. Fresh tomato, saffron, scallion, celery, uh, along, and then uh, I have uh, some Roland brand escargot. So we're going to put some snails in there also, and fresh parsley, onion fresh garlic, scallion, a little turmeric. It's going to be a great item. And a little uh, cornstarch later with water as a slurry just to give this soup a little body, which always helps keeping the giving it a little body, the, fla the, the liquid just stays in your mouth a little bit longer so you retain that flavor nicely. So we'll get started. This is not a very difficult item. Uh, and as far as the course goes, this is a dinner for one, for me. Um, the seafood and the fish and all the ingredients might come near to $20, which isn't bad considering it's uh, seafood. So let's get started. So the shrimps are peeled, they're in the stock, and the shrimps you want to cut here, go down, go kind of deep because when they curl up they'll look good and rinse out anything that's in there and as far as the scallops they're staying that size there's the escargot nice large escargot and the uh, squid we're gonna, I'm going to cut rings just like you have when you have calamari looking the same and all of this the seafood will go in at, at the exact same time because they all cook, take about the same length of time to cook. Very little time. So what's important about the saffron is to extract as much flavor as possible out of it. And the easiest way to do that before you're cooking it is to mince it up. I love saffron. so. 
this is about this is a half a teaspoon measurer so you can see how much I put in there you put it with the some of the onion not all of it and what you do you mince this up together go very fine this is only a small amount of the onion just keep going like that until you see everything's going to turn the color of the saffron and then when you saute this just do that for a few minutes you'll get more flavor out of it now I'm going to start the process, the cooking of all the vegetables everything is cut up, everything is ready put a little olive oil in there the first thing that's going to go in is the minced up onion with the saffron and then the onions, peppers, celery the onions and the peppers and the celery, that kind of dice if you want larger that's fine you can mince the garlic but I like whole pieces to chew on so that goes in there we'll sweat that up for a few minutes then we'll add the tomatoes so let's get the flame going here and after we sweat this up and it's a little translucent add the tomatoes cook it for a couple of minutes I'm not going to put any salt in here. I already put two teaspoons of salt, and this is for me, in the fish stock. And I tasted the fish stock with the other ingredients. That tastes good. Now I know that the when I put everything else in here, it's going to pull the salt out, but that's okay. So you might want to add more, but this is for one person. Two teaspoons of salt. I think is plenty. Now this can be colored or not. Now the only other thing I got to get ready, which I almost forgot about, is the elbow macaroni. Which is gluten free, but you don't have to have gluten free, you can make whatever you want. You want to use vermicelli? That's fine. The ziti? Uh, use whatever you want. But pasta goes in here. Well, if you don't want pasta, you know what? Put rice. We'll get the tomatoes. And then we're going to strain that fish stock, which has been simmering with the other, with the thyme, the bay leaf, and the shrimp skin for about a half hour but you, you can taste it and you'll know that the flavor is in there we're going to put the white wine in here I don't care too much that the tomatoes are dissolved so this is going to simmer with the fish stock and then the seafood's going in there and then we're going to before the seafood we'll just give it a little body with the uh, cornstarch and a half a cup of nice dry white wine oh I forgot to put in the, the turmeric, not much We'll see if we're getting a little flavor here, if I can smell the saffron. Mm-hmm. Reduce that a little bit. 
Let that white wine reduce. White wine reduce. Meanwhile, we're going to cook up. Elbow macaroni. Cook whatever you want. A quarter of a cup, a half a cup. If you like a lot of macaroni in your soup, you'll have it. Alright, let this reduce and then we're going to strain the stock. Well, that certainly has reduced enough. So now we're going to take the, uh, the fish stock and strain it through the shin wall right over the And if you like the chili pepper even stronger, leave it in there. So now we'll lower this because we don't want to reduce it much because we want to have soup. There we go. In a couple of let this simmer. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to taste it. This is the one tablespoon of cornstarch with one tablespoon of water. Just work it with, the, with a finger until it's smooth. And we're going to add this right now. It's reduced a little and there's plenty of soup there. But I want body. So we just drizzle in. Then right now I'm going to add the seafood and the fish and we'll be done in just a few minutes. If you notice, it has a little body now so nothing will sink, everything just floats nicely in there and it will float right down your throat. The pasta is cooking, the scallions and the parsley is ready. So we'll just add the seafood to this, raise the flame all the way, and if you look at the amount of liquid to solid, that's good. Bring it to a boil, let it simmer for a couple of minutes, and we're done. I'm going to leave it running now so you see how long this takes to cook everything. Not long, because we don't want to overcook. It's hot enough where the mussels opened already. I only put four pieces of uh, snail in there. Now if you want to put some a few little neck clams, you could have done that. See how nice the shrimps curl up when you cut them down deep? I can't wait, I have to taste this. It's pleasant, very pleasant, smooth. And now the macaroni, just about be ready. I think this will be ready before the macaroni. That's it, we're done. The shrimps have curled and they're cooked. And the uh, calamari is the same thing. You overcook this stuff and it turns to rubber. So now I'll just get the uh, parsley and the 
scallions. Shut this off. That's it. Now I'll get a bowl. I'll put the noodles in the bowl and then I'll add the seafood. The only reason I have to do that is because my wife is coming home and if I tell her I put gluten-free pasta in there, she'll throw the bowl at me. So I'll just give her some of this soup as it is. Well, I put my noodles gluten-free. I'll take some of this. Like I said, this is for one person, but you know what? For an, if you're going to have soup as an appetizer, you can share it. I just want to make sure I get my escargot and the shrimp, because when she comes home, she'll be digging in here for all the shrimp. A nice piece of octopus. That's it. I'll have to sit down now and uh, enjoy this, and I hope you do.